Hello, welcome to a video on the Go Battle League. We have a new season, we have a new updates, and uh, I haven't played as much. Um, I've been playing a little bit, but I don't have my ELO yet. Currently, um, this is where I'm at right now, about a 71% win rate. Not my best, but you know, it is what it is. Um, apologies for not having a lot of videos lately. I've been busy going to the US, then I went to cast in uh, Turin, the special event there. One of the biggest play Pokemon tournaments in Europe this season and uh my content i just need a little bit of motivation to fire to to make videos gbl already is, for one isn't really my content i like to uh i don't see, really see gbl as the most competitive format in in pokemon go i rather have it a little bit step higher like play pokemon or other show six formats um when i have go battle league videos they're really just reviews because they do much better than show six videos um speaking of uh the team that i have here it's tentacruel credilly and trevenant yes trevenant has become worse um i still think it's good to be honest it the the seat bomb nerf does hurt a little bit you have now five more energy uh per per C bomb also five more damage but you you it, it really hurts like invading let's take a look at how this goes my safe switch is credilly i'm currently ranked 17 at the time of these battles and uh, this team only really struggles with Wallerain, in my opinion. Credilly is a pretty good save switch, actually. Uh, you kind of just need a Hundo for that level 50. Um, it's the only matchup that is really annoying for it is Verizion. I find all other ones pretty good. Like Rock and Grass. I might be missing another one that might be annoying. But the Rock and Grass are really good uh, coverage in the Ultra League Summer Cup. Um, I'm not too familiar with these how these matchups go. I think a grass does a little bit more than a rock slide, so I'm hoping to go for a grass knot here. Luckily, no attack drop, otherwise, I would have gone for uh, two rock slides. Looks like I'm gonna do it anyway. I thought I went for grass knot here, maybe that's a different battle, <clears throat> but yeah, rock slide is new on Credilly and it's a really good coverage in Great League. It now breaks Noctowl Lantern better. And an Ultra League, it's, I mean, both Ultra League and Grey League, it's just much cheaper. My opponent lets that go. I'm just going to bring in my Tentacruel. Keep that Rock Slide. I figure that's more efficient elsewhere. Tentacruel's not the worst, even in some of, in, in, against most Electric types. Like, even uh, Amphros is so-so. <clears throat> and that's because of its really good book. There's currently the Water, uh, water Fos Festival event, I believe. Well, it's ending in one day from making this video, but... Tentacruel is a really good addition to your Ultra League roster. It has I run Blizzard as well for a little bit of coverage on like grass types. You can do Sludge Wave, even Acid Spray. I like Sludge Wave a little bit more for consistency. Um, but I'm running Blizzard here just as a surprise. Uh, There's definitely merit for uh, for Sludge Wave as well though. I'm gonna try to sweep with that Trevenant, and I hate that Seat Pump is now six uh, Shadow Claws for the first two Seat Pumps. Only in the, and then it's five. Not only does it just cost more energy and maybe it does a little bit more energy it's just the baiting that's more difficult with Trevenant now as well for some reason my opponent shields that which makes them very prone to a shadow ball on my uh, for my Trevenant now gonna throw that rock slide i kept here which will take out this alolan golem which is what people really hate chairs uh who really hate chairs use and now i should just uh throw the shadow bear to take out opposing Trevenant. that's a good game Again, one thing that I don't find, find too motivating about the early ranking is that um, you don't have your elo just yet, so you don't always pair with po uh, opponents of, uh, and this might sound arrogant, of your skill level, right? If, if I'm at the top of the leaderboard, I don't really get opponents who shield their low and golem at that point. That was definitely their loose con, uh, even though it already was difficult. Uh, my opponent uh, throws Outrage as soon as they have it. I did two, 10 well, I did 10 poison jabs there and I snuck one, so I know they're exactly at the outrage. Gonna go for that blizzard just straight away, hopefully as some sort of surprise. Um, this doesn't even knock out, but um, it does leave, them down, does leave me in the farm down. Uh, they say switch to Swampert. I have two magnificent answers to that, even though Cradilly I don't like too much. Cradilly is quite bulky, actually, like, like actually really bulky. Um, so it can hang, hang with those hydro cannons and you have grass uh, attack moves. Look at that Swampert, still living. I guess Seam Bob isn't strong enough. Um, <laughs> luckily, they don't have the Sludge Bomb. And this should be a very, very easy game for me. They're even throwing the, the Acid Spray right away because it's 7 for that first, 7 points just for that first Acid Spray. It's 8 and then 7, 7 for Scald. 
um but they didn't even they didn't even go for the skull now they have to like jab me down um i'm very aware that they have that uh King Draw is still alive. They tried to catch. I'm not gonna throw here just because I can get a little bit of farm done on my own Cordelli. Now, if they ask to spray, I can just simply swap out. Um, swapping your own tent crew here gives me a lot of momentum just because everything is resisted that they throw and that I throw. Um, it's just a really slow mirror matchup. <clears throat> so, yeah, we're just gonna see two squids uh, jabbing at each other here. Luckily, my opponent does realize quite quickly that it's over. So, especially after that attack dropped there, nothing they can do really. I've had only once or twice that my Cordelia was answered by, um, what's it called? By Virision, and that did go pretty nasty. Um, Cordelia on top of that doesn't really answer like chairs are that well with shields up. Uh, this is a pretty bad lead for me. Gonna save switch into the Cordelia. Met by the Genesex, which is believe if I see the somewhat white uh, drive on the back, I believe that's an ice one, throws the Magnet Bomb here, which is super effective. But um, because my opponent timed their charge attack really bad there, I actually sneak another Bullet Seed through. And that might, that just might, allow me to outpace uh, to more rocks, to another Rock Slide here. Rock Slide does about 50% here. Uh, Genesex is just a little bit fragile. Can I get there? I cannot. That's very unfortunate. Regardless, um, if they are like the ice genesect here, the chill genesect, then I should be fine because I will resist all the charge attacks here. <clears throat> Problem is though, they also are a steel type, so I cannot jab this thing down. And I do kind of want to be rid of it because, um, yeah, it's just an annoying Pokemon. Now, Trevenant in this, in this meta, I think it's really, really good. There are very few dark types. The only thing that really stops it here is the Pidgeot. And Swampert uh, usually is paired with a Flyer. Now, this Flyer I can actually hang with. This is where the Sea Bomb nerf and against Trevenant as well really hurts because that baiting is just more expensive. Luckily, I get that bait here. Um, gonna let the first move go. I'm not sure if that's the play, though. I was like, you know, they can get three charge attacks. Uh, I don't want to... I need to keep one shield for the Hydro from Swampert. We get that charge attack priority here. And this is very fine. As long as they don't get to that third Dragon Claw, which they shouldn't, um, I should be very good. Just because I'm a little bit on advantage, you should be. You should get to Sea Bomb and Shadow Ball at the same time as a Dragon Claw. Uh, as three Dragon Claws. But uh, I sneak one extra and I swapped in earlier, so I outpaced the chairs very cleanly there. And then I should be able to just get to that Sea Bomb easily <clears throat> and i will take out the swampert so an easy traveling sweep here i'm not gonna say easy that that took some <laughs> some baiting some baiting obviously if they know she'll i just lose there probably next battle uh interesting another man of culture with that credilly now they're just best buddies um the hundo just gets gets really cleanly to 24.99 if you have a little bit worse than a hundo, you probably need, need the best buddy bonus, which they may have. Gonna go straight for that blizzard. This won't uh, knock out the Cradilli, I believe, from this range. It does put it into the red, but they shield anyway. Um, which is really unfortunate because that's like 80 energy gone there. Gonna swap them out Cradilli. They're farming up a lot. I expect them to try and catch, which they do try, but I, I need to throw my charge texture anyway. Gonna go for a grass. Actually, I think this is a misplay. I think three rock slides should do the job here against the double. <clears throat> and while double does have that fighting uh, pass move here, right? The the double kick. It's not really that much of a fight. It needs to build all the way to the payback against rock types. And just takes really long. And against the bulky Pokemon like Cradilly, it doesn't really add up. As you can see here, I should have went for a straight rock slide. The grass has only like five more energy than rock slide. But, you know, it's best to be as efficient as possible there. <clears throat> yeah this is uh okay so far even this payback doesn't ko barely gets me into the red <laughs> gonna save that move then going in the uh, tent crew but my opponent very smart walls me just right away with a jealous and this is probably one of the worst matchups for that tent crew in this league because it resists all moves from uh jealous especially paired with like a galvantula is just so tough to overcome 
Galvention is probably one of the worst things I can face uh, with this team. Trying to get to that last skull, but not able to. However, their shield's down. Um, and I still have a trend with a shield, which I kind of have to use here in case it is a Shadow Ball. It's a surf, though. You bait it. And this actually is another surf. I hope. Is it? It's another surf. And I think the reason why my opponent is doing that is because they have so much energy on that Gridilly. Gonna just bullet seat this down. Maybe it wasn't necessary, but if they threw their move, I could have farmed it down with the Trenton and get even more energy because all I need here, a little bit of energy on the Trenton. But look at this. I actually lose that charge attack period here, which is fine. They have to throw energy here. Rock Slide won't KO my Trenton just yet. I can still build up energy here. <clears throat> Rock Slide will actually do quite some damage though. As you see, that puts me into the red, but going for the seed bomb, and then I have another one for that Jellicent, and I should be very, very good. You'll see that in most of my games, Tentacruel is just the one who tanks all the charge attacks. Trident, like every Pokemon, you, you, you always say like there's a safe swap, there's a lead, there's a sweeper. This team really feels like that, just because Credilly really performs well as a safe swap, and then Travis is just such good sweeper. Now, this is the most difficult lead because Gridilly takes super effective damage from Buck. So they can just throw a lunch, which many of these Galvantulas did um, <clears throat> before swapping, but not this one. This one goes into Porygon 2 uh, and goes straight try attack. Um, look, I don't make it up. <laughs> this is uh, the, the non-ELO range. Gonna go straight for the Rock Slide. And now I'm going to try going for a Grass Knot. This does a little bit more damage, but you'll see that it's not enough to actually farm it down quite yet. Well, I might actually be able to probably have to eat another Charge Attack, though. This is, again, Try Attack. This opponent is just trying to debuff me. Uh, but here's uh, Content Creator Luck, as Pokeke calls it. Never getting that uh, stat drop. <laughs> um, <laughs> I just love those theories. Anyway, still not into the red. Which is nice, and they come with Charizard, so they're actually really weak to rock. Uh, they should have just stayed in with the Galvantula, I guess, but then that Tentacruel becomes annoying, so that's tough. I'm gonna go for another Rock Slide. This will definitely one shot Charizard, by the way. <clears throat> and they overfarm, and that uh, leaves me to get to another Rock Slide, and this takes out a whole. Charizard, now, big question, can I get to another one on this Galvan engine? That'd be great. The next Volt Switch might barely... It barely does KO. I don't think uh, that it would have KO'd the Galvan engine anyway. But I think it would have put it really, really low. Even despite Galvan engine being so fragile. Eating a lunge there to get into the attack drop there. Then going into the Travenant. Still no shielding, not sure why I need to do that. But, uh, I mean, this is so over anyway. <clears throat> opponent's still trying but yeah so that's uh, uh, a preview of uh, inadequance without elo just yet um, not the most exciting content I'll try to have some more interesting battles next time in go battle league I actually did get a really good Galarian Zapdos that I used on my twitch stream the other day it's a rank 94 uh, that I caught with the ma master ball really good stuff um, that was fun to use, I guess. I had three bastards on swapping in. Anyway, I hope you liked the video um, and to see you.